Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is episode 44 of my gameplay on Willamina Forest. If this is what you're looking for, please stay tuned. Alright folks, welcome to Willamina Forest. So, I just want to bring you guys in real quick. This is, uh, well, I didn't do it right away after I finished the last video, but this is basically where we were at on the last video. Um, so I will go through some comments on the last video before I get going on this. The last video just posted like a few hours before I started recording this. So yeah, I figured I'd get on here, start working on the cotton harvest. I just wanted to give you guys an update. And I think we're going to do sugar beets in these two fields. And then on these three fields, because if you remember, we have this new field up here. I need to get some lime put on it, which I'm going to do right now. Um, I think what we're going to do is put soy, soy in these three fields up here. And I think we'll do a big soy harvest. I'm going to try to keep clearing out some trees around here. Um, as you guys know with the treks, but uh, yeah, and I'm hopefully going to get us some more fields in. Um, yeah, and then eventually we'll do the sugarcane harvest and eventually we'll wrap up the series. But I want to get like another good, maybe a good field down here or something like that. Um, I think that'd be nice to have that going. So yeah, I'm going to get some stuff done. I will bring you guys back in later, but I just wanted to bring you in real quick just to kind of give you an update. I'll probably bring you back in tomorrow or actually, you know what? Either tomorrow or when it's time to compact one of these new cotton bales because i want you guys to be here for part of that process so anyhow whichever one of those comes first so i'll see you guys in a little bit all right so just put the last bit in there for a bale we're on that field now it does miss little bits here and there and even if i go across the other angle i usually don't get most of them anyway so i'm probably just gonna leave those little bits there uh, i know it's we're gonna miss out on a little bit but it'll be fine we're getting most of it so i think just with how our fields are set up it does not like that and the thing's already almost full again uh, fills up fairly quick so yeah it took a while to get that full but we should have if you hop in here yeah 32,000 liters in here so let's go ahead and get this uh turn that on and then um i don't know how to use the rest of this thing i don't see any other options on there let's unfold it Turn it on. Well, um, I am a little confused, to be honest. V to lower it? Nope, V to lower it. I to unload it. X, X, nope, I don't know. Um, maybe if I do that. X to fold it up. Unfold the tool first, okay. X. Turn it on. Um, I don't know what's going on. I to unload isn't working. Um, left control I is not working. I don't know. Um, okay, well, we may have to... Is this... I may just have to empty it doing that. That's kind of a bummer. Um, yeah, I don't know what's up with that. Well, I guess I didn't fix all the issues with it. Oh, to open the door. No. Ugh. Does this, uh, uh, one last thing we can check here. Does this have a horsepower requirement? No. No horsepower requirement. Okay, so that's probably not it. Um, yeah, cause it's supposed to push out a bale after it packs it down. I wonder if because I ran it earlier or before. Gosh, that's so bizarre. I wonder if we're missing parts on the... I don't know if you do... Yeah, I don't think we're missing anything on the help screen. Wow, I have no idea what's up with that. Um, if you guys know, let me know, but I think we're just going to have to simulate selling it. Uh, let's go to cotton here. 2041. That's a decent price. So uh, I'll use my calculator. 32 times 2041 is 65312. So let's add that in. Uh, oh, I just, I just forget it already. 65312. 65312. There we go. And then I'm just going to empty this. 
That's so strange. And it still has like cotton on the bottom, which it didn't have before either. That is so odd. I wonder what's going on with that. Well, that's kind of strange. Um, well, that is, uh, that's a bummer to be honest. Wow. Okay, well, we have it. We'll still simulate it, but we won't have to deliver it, I suppose. So I guess we end up winning still. Oh, so I'm ready to unload the combine or our little uh, cotton harvester. Yeah, if you guys know what's up with that, let me know down in the comments. But I can't imagine why it wouldn't work for us. I have no idea. I was trying different buttons, even if they weren't on there. I don't know. I don't know what's up with that. But anywho. It all the rest of it's working fairly well. Harvester doesn't pick up everything it needs to, but uh, yeah. Anyhow, that's what we got going on. I'll probably see you guys in the morning. I don't know. I probably won't get the. I'm sure I won't get the cotton harvest done tonight because we're. I mean, obviously we're going out along at a slow rate. I'm getting these these two fields cultivated. Um, this one I got lime thrown on, so it's already done. We're in this screen, so it doesn't show up. But there you go. Um, and then I'll probably get fertilizer thrown on these two fields. That one, probably a layer of fertilizer, and then hopefully we can get these two. Well, I mean, we'll probably have to work on them tomorrow. I don't want to plant until they're all good to go, and then I'll plant them all at once, so I'm not going to worry about it for now. Um, well, I guess I could do the sugar beets. Yeah, sugar beets aren't, wouldn't be. No, I'll just plant it all tomorrow. I think we'll do, uh, do that in game. So I'll bring you guys back in for damage rolls in the morning. I am using the Steiger out there. If you remember last episode, we had an issue with the, was it the hydraulics for the three-point hitch? Something along those lines, but, uh, it had to be out of commission for four hours, so but we're past that four hours, so no big deal. And I have been using the John Deere to do, I'm gonna do use the John Deere, I think, to do most of our fertilize. Well, I don't know. We have so much digestate. I probably should use one, do one and one like I've been doing, or maybe do these two small fields that way. I don't know. I think we probably have to really. Um but anyhow, that's what we got going on. Um kind of sucks that it doesn't work the way it should, but uh anyhow, I'll see you guys in the morning. All right, good morning, everyone. So, cotton harvest is underway again. And actually, I bumped down the time because I was reading all the equipment. I'll bump it back up. We didn't get very far, got a little bit into that field before it got to about 8 o'clock. So, I called it a good night last night. I uh, got digestate thrown out there. I need to actually get that going here in a second. But then I started hauling some digestate back. But uh, anyhow, we have the same uh, vehicles for maintenance. We have the Magnum, the BSM truck, and we have the Steiger and the New Holland tractor. So, I'm going to go ahead and run. So, for the Case Magnum, 29 that is safe now for the bs bsm truck 45 that's safe okay next up we have the steiger seven. Oh no the steiger starting to have some maintenance issues oh no the steiger number seven lights out oh takes one hour though replace 50 bucks okay um that was number seven so we're gonna get some new lights on there no big deal and then for the new holland what number we're we gonna get 67 new holland is safe okay so let's take that 50 bucks out of our account here let me get rid of that chart off of your screen there okay and we can't use the steiger until eight o'clock so <laughs> no big deal on that okay not too bad not too bad um let's take a look at our income from yesterday um oh we also have to include uh yesterday so 47250 from the bj and that's our bail so we need to include that as well normally we don't include that but uh we're gonna include that obviously for this so 64 312 oops stepping in with my calculator here there we go 64 312 plus uh 47250 then do we have anything else that we got no Some property income i don't even know where that property income is coming from but uh, there we go okay let's see Hundred eleven thousand five hundred sixty-two dollars, one eleven five six two, and that puts up our total to. Um, let's see here. We're up to eight point two million, so we're slowly making progress along the way to get that. We're gonna actually have to just. We're probably gonna end up be pressed a little bit to wrap this up on time and get that done. So we gotta make sure we do it though. Um, yeah. So again, you guys know what we're gonna plant. We're gonna get some stuff done around here. Um, hopefully that darn sugar cane harvest. Uh, one thing actually we should do today too is sell some of these onions. We have a ton, and I think I already pulled out the onions for today, so they're already out here. Um, I th I think I'm gonna sell these things. I don't I don't think we need them, so let's go ahead and sell them. Yeah, let's let's just sell them off. I think I think we'll get rid of them. We'll go back to owned items. I returned the trailer too, so we didn't have to pay overnight fees for the trailer we weren't gonna use anyways. Let's go find them in here. I know I could search them, but 
this will just be i don't know maybe easier quicker i guess it wouldn't have been i don't know why i'm doing this <laughs> no idea okay sell e uh sure yeah we got it you got to sell that pallet in there okay Oh, it's giving me for the other stuff. Okay, well, I guess we get an extra free pallet of onions that's out there already. Okay. And we'll sell that one off. Okay, and then we'll actually sell off the water as well, because we're not going to need the water point anymore. And I think actually what I want to put end up putting here is, well, once we get rid of these guys out of the way, I think I want to put some more sheds to put vehicles in over here. I think those are, that'll be a good spot for some vehicle sheds. So I want to do some of that. Uh, I like these pull-through sheds quite a bit uh, that, from the MF packs. So I might be able to fit those in there. Or maybe I'll put the truck shelter right here and then put those along here somehow. I don't know. I'll figure something out. I think we'll end up doing that. Um, I'm probably going to take a break from time lapses on this series. I put a lot, obviously, in... Um, I put a lot, obviously, in Shellington Valley. So I think we're just going to do mostly gameplay on here. I don't have any other things I'm going to upgrade, I think, to the town. But uh, having said that, let's go fly over the town. It looks awesome what, what it has become. Um, I don't think you guys have realized how much we have done on this. So if we look at our farm, first off, that's our farm now. <laughs> that is crazy. This was all trees, guys. This was all trees. I know some of you are sad to see this series go, but... We have accomplished so much. I know the map has so much more room that we could go, but we have accomplished a ton on this map. Seriously, a ton. And actually a very short short amount of time, very short amount of episodes. So um, I am truly excited and impressed by what we've accomplished. Oh, and by the way, it was Darren Duell that bought that trailer. I'll go look up that comment in a second. And I think I saw an offer for um, the wheel loader, but let's look. So we got the slurry yard, which a lot of this stuff we haven't even ever really used, but it's still so cool that we have it on this map. All the stuff that we've added in, the cell points. BGA through here. This town has grown in the roleplay aspect. We've got this back road up here. Um, so we'll be leaving it in good hands. And I'm not sure yet on my next series if I am going to use the money we made on here to expand into a new farm or not. I'm not 100% sure yet. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll just kind of have to see how we go. But yeah, we got to finish up some production too. Um, we got to get some of that more of the, or some more of that going, but then we got down here We got our Darren Duels restaurant down there Our newest addition the neighborhood and then if we keep going across here We got the lumber camp and the mining area right over here. Just awesome And I know uh, someone gosh who is I got to just look at the comment sheet real quick You guys are you guys have given me so many ideas and comments for how to go about this series. It's been absolutely incredible Let me open up my comments real quick Oop, Maybe there we go. Now it's opening up um, let's go down the list here. Okay, so and that's actually look at Darren Duel's comment while we're in here as well. I don't know how I possibly missed. Yeah, Darren Duel, thirty-two thousand five hundred dollars for the new trailer and the dolly that goes with it. So that will go to him. Um, we'll sell those off here in just a second. And let me see, where's the other comment here that I had? Um, so thirty-two thousand five hundred. Need to write that down. Thirty-two five hundred. And I had it typed out, but uh, let's write that down. Okay. Uh, Harry asked if we could add in an animal silly yard. Harry, that's a great idea. I apologize for not getting that going on here, uh, but that is a fantastic idea. I appreciate you. Uh, that might be something we could add into No Man's Land, but I thank you for putting that comment down. Uh, and Monday's Meadow, you said put a farming community up in the upper left-hand corner. Monday, I just want to say thank you for that comment as well. I apologize we're not going to get it done, but thank you. Like, seriously, everyone who's commented on the series, everyone who's engaged in the series, I truly have. This is my third series ever that I've started. Uh, Chellington be the fourth. The first one I did was No Man's Land, and that one's still going. And then we, uh, I obviously did um, uh, Sandy Bay 19 um, as well alongside No Man's Land for a while. And then after that one wrapped up, then this is what started in place of Sandy Bay 19. And now I got Shellington going, and then this one's going to kind of wrap up. And I'll probably keep those two going for a little bit. Um, but then I'm thinking about other series to do. So Again, I don't even know if we'll get to 50 episodes on here, but we are slowly wrapping this up and getting stuff going, which is awesome. So, okay, let's sell off. Let's go to the garage here. Let's sell those off to, um, let's do, I can't spell Flegel. We'll try that. I can't remember if it's F-L-E. Okay, good, I got it. Okay, the newer one he wanted, so 18921, so we'll sell that. Yes, okay. Reset, you've hit that reset button, then it puts the search back on, and then Dolly, I should be able to find the Dollies. Um, hopefully I sell the right one actually because we have a couple uh, ooh, That's the one I'm selling 
I think that's the one I'm selling. Well, we'll see in a second. I think it was the old one, wasn't it? Yeah, okay, good, it was. And 23744, so F11 will take off the minus 23744, and then we'll add in the price that Darren Duel paid us, 32.5. There we go, those are sold off. And I don't know about this trailer yet, but uh, this has been sold. I have to go check and see who bought it again. Uh, but Darren Duel, I apologize for uh, totally missing you on that last episode, but um, yeah, we're gonna get it done. I need to go double check to make sure I actually get the other one done as well. So. Yeah, anyhow, guys, I don't have much more for you other than that. Um, I had actually one other, uh, one of you left a uh, question for me that I thought was uh, uh, kind of funny, but, uh, and I think you may have misunderstood. So Sebastian asked, uh, are you likely to get stabbed in Washington, D.C.? And my answer to that is I don't, I don't think that's true. Uh, I don't live in Washington, D.C. It's on the other side of the country to me. I live in Washington State, so I think that some people get confused, but there are two Washingtons in the United States. There's Washington State, which is in the Pacific Northwest, all the way over on the top uh, end of the West Coast, and then there is um, there is Washington, D.C., which is kind of in the middle of the East Coast on the eastern side of the United States. So uh, very different. The Wa Washington, D.C. is the capital of the country, but I don't work in the capital of the country. I work in a state on the other side of the country. So anyhow, I just wanted to mention that. But <laughs> oh, gosh. Anyhow, guys, um, yeah, I'm just going to get some stuff done around the farm. I am just enjoying playing on here still. I'm, I am going to miss it. I'll keep the save in case I decide to do something with it later. But Unfortunately, as much as I love it, it's at a certain point I can't play on a series forever. I can't have all my series be like No Man's Land where we never stop. And I get that. If you guys have been watching this series from the very beginning, you probably have a connection to it as far as you're like, yes, I love this series. I'm engaged in this series. You're passionate about what's going on on here. So I totally, totally get that. Every time um, a YouTuber that I watch uh, often is Mr. Silly P, every time he wraps up a series, I'm always sad. I'm like, oh, darn. But at the same time, I understand that it's going to move on to the, the next bigger, better series, and he's going to keep putting out great content, so which is kind of what has to happen. It just is the way it goes. But yeah, but we're not done. We're not quitting. We're not quitting until we accomplish what we set out to do. We're going to get some sugar cane done, and we're going to make an extra, how much we need to make? $1.8 million, which is almost 20% of our total for the series, which is going to be crazy to see how we get that accomplished. But I think this cotton is a good step in the right direction. Well, maybe not, actually. This has been just costing us more money than it's been worth probably but we'll get a lot of cotton off this uh field or these two fields here and then a soy harvest on all of them will be absolutely fantastic so anyhow guys i'll see you guys here in a little bit all right folks it is morning and i do have the time slowed down on purpose because we're going to talk about a few things so first off um this has been sold um so this is good to go we've sold this this is sold too and i'm sorry i'm not gonna be able to say your name correctly so i just want to make sure it's sojourd regenin regenin uh it's spelled s-j-o-e-r-d and then r-e-i-j-n-e-n -E -E so thank you for buying this 80 grand so we're gonna go ahead and add an r80 thousand for this which is great puts us up pretty high there on the on the money there so let's go ahead and go to the garage um oop, uh, back to owned items i'm gonna do ahead and We'll search this one out. Should come up with the case wheel loader. There it is. Uh, so sell that. Yes. Okay. And then reset and then search and we'll do CSC. That should give us a list of items on here. And hopefully I sell the correct one because I think we have two of those buckets. We do. Ooh. I'm. Um, this one? Oh, gosh. I didn't sell the right one. No, I sold the wrong one. That's okay. 72156. <laughs> oh, gosh. Minus 72. Uh, five, was it 516? 156. Whoops. F11, put 516. And then take out 156. There we go. Okay, now it's all good. Money's up to 80, 876,000. We sold all of our cotton. It took forever. It's the next day because it took, we literally were doing the cotton until like six o'clock at night. So we didn't plant anything last night because we didn't have time. We got a lot of fertilizing done. I even had to stop just because we were done. Now, <laughs> I have something funny we'll go over in a second, but left for sale, not that stupid bucket. We have the old uh, Flegal Timber Runner, which I'm trying to get 20 grand for. We have the gooseneck, which I'm trying to get about 10 grand for, barely used at all. So uh, let me know some offers for those there. Uh, yeah, let me know about those. So, um, okay, 
I got all of the digestate from, let's go ahead and walk up to the farm here. So I got all the digestate transported from the BGA down to the farm yesterday, um, which is fantastic. I can't believe it took us that long to do that cotton harvest. Also too, we had a little bit of a snafu with the bales, which I'll show you here in a second. But uh, yeah, so I got it all transported down here. We're still gonna need a little bit more to get that one field done. What I've been doing is doing a layer of digestate um, and then a layer of uh, chemical fertilizer just so we can get it all fertilized up before we're good to go or before we plant, so we're good to go. 189,000 liters left, which is awesome. We're really eating through it. Um, we do sugar beets, we'll obviously get some more. Um, I loaded up some onions. It's Don't look at how it's loaded because it's terrible. Um, and a lot of you commented that I needed to unfasten the tension straps and it should sell fine over there, so we'll get that done. So I still have probably a little mini load left to do here, uh, but we'll get that taken care of. Um, so the cotton bales, all of a sudden, it did allow me to unload, and when I unloaded it, unloaded three. There's two here, so um, we ended up getting two more bales, and the price went up. I don't know what it is now, but it's probably gonna be way more. You know, it went back down. So it was 2,800 bucks yesterday at the spinnery, I believe. So the price really skyrocketed. So I'm sad we sold the first bale for how much we did, but the next two bales we got about 90 grand a bale, and then we had a little bit left over after we finished. So we got another like 20 grand from that. So we got we did really well. What is that, 180, 200, like 260,000 off of that? So that was that was absolutely fantastic. But I do not like that cotton harvester. I think it'd be fine if it was flat. We just had a lot of glitches with it. Probably just needs a little bit of an update still. But, um, ooh, this thing's almost full. So maybe selling some eggs here in the next episode. But uh, let me look at my, yeah. Okay, so yeah, so yeah, I'm looking at my list of things I want to accomplish before we get out. Let's do maintenance rolls actually for the day. Did I Do I still have it pulled up? I'm pretty sure I do. Um, yep, it's still pulled up. Okay, let's go ahead and look. Do we have anything else that got... Let's see here. Go back up to the top. The case, the BSM. Uh, no, that's the next thing up. So nothing else has passed that threshold. So we still have the same piece of equipment. Let me grab my notebook. Okay, now let's go ahead and let me put the... I'll put the chart up here so you guys can see. Oh, whoops, I got to transfer over to this. There we go. Uh, there's, the tr there's the chart. There we go. Okay, so for the case magnum... We got a 28, we're safe, okay. Write that down, case magnum is safe. Uh, for the BSM truck, 22, it's safe, okay. The Steiger, this is the one that's been really doing bad for us. Oh my gosh, we got a, what, we got a seven, we got another seven, so it's okay. That one does not count today because we have warranty. So if you remember, we made a warranty rule, so you get uh, the same thing you got the last or within the last three days, then you don't have to count it. But that Steiger's really had some issues for us. Uh, the New Holland. 78 okay new holland is safe gosh and we have uh we have stuff that's getting close to being double don't we yeah it looks like the magnum and then the bsm are getting close to being doubled up but uh we will see about that right, let me get that out of the way there uh so yeah maintenance is done then for today um let's do our finances for yesterday uh wednesday uh sold buildings vehicles where did that go oh, that's from the okay yeah yeah, yeah. um the other is our, well, I just, I'm gonna add up what our cotton was, um, cause that was our first cotton bale right there. And then we had what, 90, cause I don't know where some of that's coming from. Oh, that's right. I had a landscaping issue where my my mouse, I was using the mouse with my laptop cause I was doing some of it off camera. And so I had to, I added in some money cause it took me a while to get some of that fixed. So um, let's see, plus, so I'm just gonna do, um, 200,000 I'll do for yesterday because we didn't sell anything else. Yeah, we'll just do 200,000. Um, let me get our sheet here. So if you did 200,000 yesterday, I actually probably can do this math now in my head, adding it to the total. Sure can. That puts us up to 8.4 million. 8426550 to be exact. So fantastic. And we're actually going to sell the onions right now. Uh, so we'll get those sold off before we wrap up this episode. I'm going to wrap up this episode in a second. But I have one last funny thing at the very end that we're going to go over. So let's get these um, sold off. And then I'm going to do it because we're going to fly over at the very end and take a look at uh, some of the progress on the farm. Because I added in another field as well off camera. Um, as you probably actually saw when I went into the map here. So yeah, this is the field I added in. But we're going to go take a look at it from above um, and see there. That field actually is really funky. It's uh, It was way more... It's a, uh, you'll see it. <laughs> it's funky in the sense that it's very uneven, but I think it'll be fine. It, it, I mean, it, it'll be a little bit crazy, but um, I know it just is what it is on this map, honestly. These fields are two, probably our most normal fields, honestly. But let's get these down to, oh, don't tip, don't tip. That was close. Okay. And where is the best price actually for onions right now? We can go all the way down here. 
Onions are selling at 3,800 bucks at the Agri. Holy smokes, we're gonna get a lot of cash for this. Our onions really have done well. I mean, they probably did, they're a little overpowered. If we had emptied them regularly, we would have made just way too much money way too fast. So I think it was probably a good decision to sell them off. Um, they were fun to do for a little bit, but yeah, I don't I don't think I would do them again just because I think they're a little too overpowered. Um, I guess I could have uh, Quiet Hitman go on in the XML and fix them up, but that's okay. I had my fix for onions for a while, so I think we're good to go. This trailer really wants a tip. I guess I have onions hanging off the side of it. Don't you tip on me. Oh, that was too fast, too fast, too fast. Okay, okay, easy on the turns here, farmer cop. Good gravy. <laughs> oh, jeez, sorry, guys. I'm not getting sick. I... Oh, oh, jeez, I... <laughs> are you kidding me? Are we stuck? What are we possibly be stuck on? What are we stuck on? That log or something? Oh yeah, we are. We're up on that log. Okay. Everyone look away. Do I? Why do I have super strength on? I don't even know why I have that on. Oh, it was because I was moving those cotton bales because they glitched into the. Never mind. But anyhow, I was moving those big cotton bales around, which I'll probably just end up having to sell them off camera anyways. Come on, get off of here. Oh geez, well that works too. Nope, not that way. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh gosh. There we go. Come on. Get over there. This is, you're just dragging out the episode now. Come on. We're not playing games here. Let me see if I can tip you. There we go. That's a start. Got you straightened out a little bit more. Doing great. We're doing great. Okay. And. Oh. Almost had you. Almost had you. Okay. Let's try from this. There we go. Is that good? Oh, we're on the roof. Come on, you can get off of it. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we're free. We are free. I'm going to turn super strength off because I'm not sure why it's on. Uh, there we go. Okay. Hopefully these sell just fine uh, unfasting the tension straps. I think they will be. Honestly, with my poor load job, I probably can knock them off by just driving back and forth. So <laughs> that'll be fine. <laughs> oh, gosh. But here we go. We're selling them right here. We made it. We were so close. So close. All right. Get those tension straps off. Oh yeah. Come on now. Oop, that didn't do it. Come on. You know you want to sell. There we go. Got to get them a little bit lower. You can do it. Getting little bits of them here and there. Come on. All right, I've, I've had enough of it. <laughs> I'm putting super strength back on, it's ridiculous. Oh gosh, just my luck. There we go. There we go. All right. Oh, thank goodness we got that done. Um, let's see how much we made off of that. I'm kind of curious. Uh, today, harvest income. Holy smoke, 68 big ones on that one? Holy cow, 68 grand. That is a lot of cash for that. All right, well, fantastic. Okay, we'll do a fly over here in a second. Let's get this guy. Do I have any, did I make a route through this? Nope, I didn't. All right, let's get you to farm. I'll have you drive there while we go fly around and look at the cool things. Yep, you do your thing. Beautiful. All right. Um, okay, let's do fly over here. Get into fly over mode. We'll leave that on. That'll be fine. So, don't look. So I think what we are going to do at some point... I always forget how big this body of water is. It's actually quite large. We've gotten so much done on the on here. Uh, but I think we are going to put try to put that over there. Let's see if that will even... Well, the pallets might be in the way. So we'll get those loaded up next episode and get those sold off. And I'll get rid of those off camera. But uh, so yeah, our fields are massive. We have a lot of fields. So uh, Darren doing a lot in, in a comment from the last episode, which I read through just a couple of them real quick. 
uh, said, if we're doing all crop types, do we have the oilseed radish? And he kind of put like a winky face next to it. And I think he was more joking, but you know what, Darren Duel, this episode, this is Darren Duel's oilseed radish or Darren Duel's oilseed. So there you go. We're getting it going for you, my friend. That is what we're doing. We have Jeff's chickens over there and Darren Duel's oilseed radish. So I love it. That is fantastic. And Jeff, I, Jeff just left a comment that put was chickens in all caps, which I love it. So, um, and Jeff's been a good friend of the family, or good, good friend of the, I guess the farmer cop family, but uh, the, the good friend of the channel uh, for a while. So, and there you go. Oil sea radish. That is probably going to be the thumbnail right there, just because why not? So, anyhow, guys, that is going to be the end of this episode. If you guys enjoyed, drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button up on the screen to join the farmer cop channel and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and watching.